Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. Today we've got brand new under canopy lights from Horta Bloom. These are called the Subflux 120 and they come in pairs. So 240 watts overall. And uh, yeah, they're it's outstanding light. Performs really well. I'll go through that with you later on. And uh, really nice spectrum too. In terms of pricing, these are very competitively priced. So the 240 watt pack, so two of these, for $245 with dimmer. Link below if you want to check out uh, all the detailed specs and the pricing for your area. Um, and comes with uh, stands, daisy chain cable, power cable, everything you need. One of the questions I get asked around the under canopy is about the effectiveness of them and how to apply them. First, how to apply them. These ones are just less than four foot long, so they'll fit into a four by four individually. Yeah, and you can daisy chain them. So you can string them along in rows in a commercial environment. But in your own uh, home grow setup, in your typical 4x4 setup, you're going to have a 500 watt top light. That's going to be delivering eight or 900 micromoles to the top of the canopy. Now you can push that higher, either by increasing your top light size or by adding an under canopy and keeping your top light. In that case, you'd be adding around 25% more power with this 120 watt fixture and that would deliver you about 25% more yield in that space. Bringing your equivalent sort of uh, top canopy power level to about 1200 micromoles, which is at a high level, but not requiring CO2 and um, you know, should not cause undue stress to your plants. The other thing as well is that you're mixing it up. So that high intensity is not on the top of your canopy. It's 800 or 900 on top with this coming from below. So any one part of the plant is not being overstressed or will be less stressed in terms of the light intensity it's receiving. In a five by five setup then you'd have a 750 watt light above, typically again delivering eight or 900 micromoles and you could put two of these underneath. Uh, so an additional 240 watts Again, about 30% more and you should get 30% more yield. And what has been reported in these tests and uh, the published results is that um, up to a point, so adding that extra 30, 25 or 30% of power, so adding under canopy lighting to your top light will deliver a proportionate increase in yield. So if you add 30% more light under canopy, you get 30% more yield. In addition to that, there is sort of a an incremental improvement in uh, quality. So not necessarily in potency, but in terms of the bud grading. So in commercial environments, you'd have um, A grades, which would be, you know, the higher, the premium buds, all the way down to C grade, which would be sort of, sort of larfy, fluffy uh, buds, typically at the bottom of the plant. And what growers are reporting is those uh, lower grade buds are getting a proportion of them you know, in the sort of 20%, 25% region are getting upgraded into B and then from B up into, into A. So you're getting this proportionate increase in the quality and, and therefore the value of your harvest. In terms of the specs of the Subflux 120, it's got everything you want really. So as I said, it comes in um, just under four feet long, so it'll fit into a four foot grow area. You get uh, two units in the pack. So 240 watts total, they, they can be daisy linked together um, with about a foot and a half or 50 centimeter uh, daisy chain cable. So enough to reach from, you know, one five by five to another five by five, etc. cetera. The, uh, it comes with a dimmer, so you can dimmer control, which is also daisy chainable. So dim one, you dim them all. Stands come free, are included. Uh, and they are nice and solid and adjustable, going from about one, one foot high to about two foot high, so about 30 to 60 centimeters. The, um, in terms of the LEDs themselves, uh, interestingly with this one, you've actually got two LED panels, so pointing slightly outwards to spread that light. You've got a nice hard um, like acrylic cover over the lights to protect them. So. Uh, no problem, you know, dirt and dust and moisture falling on them. And then absolutely packed full of LEDs. So there are 480 LEDs uh, per fixture. 
and big boost in, ter in those in terms of um, red 660 nanometer and far red 730 nanometer. As you can hear, see here from the spectrum test, uh, it's got a nice full spectrum with every aspect that you would need. Although these lamps typically face upwards, obviously going into the canopy, a bit difficult, difficult to test in that regard. I just put two of them into a five by five, mounted them about uh, 30 centimeters or one foot above the test area and took a hundred power measurements um, just to double check and see the efficacy of this fixture. So how much power it's outputting, actually delivering to the plant canopy for every watt consumed. That's pretty impressive. Um, even though it's got the acrylic covers, which can take away a little bit of the, um, the light output, it's still managing to deliver a 2.58 uh, PPFD per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is really, really good. Uh, just in itself, a really good efficient fig um, fixture. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, uh, driver is included in the fixture. So you just gotta, all you have to do is um, connect up the power cable to the unit. Um, no need for an additional driver. So nice and neat installation. So overall, a really solid fixture from Horta Bloom. As usual, I've tested a lot of their lights. They've all been very good. Um, available immediately, the specs are, um, and details are down below, as well as the link you can click through to purchase it. And um, yeah, congratulations to Horta Bloom. Really nice under canopy lights. Any questions or comments, please leave them below and take care.